Hey, Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. Today I got a treat for you. I'm going to show you how to use the fogger along with the Anisphere. Now keep in mind you can use the fogger with the Anabec cleaner as well, but stay tuned. Okay, so we've touched on the Anisphere quite a bit in a couple of our other videos, and I'm gonna put a link to this down below, also along with the cleaner down below. So we have basically two disinfectants that we recommend. Uh, this one is more designed for fogging interior places and things like that. It's good at killing uh, molds as well as bacteria and viruses, where the cleaner itself is more for a mold application and crawl space, water damage, different things like that. So depending on what you're going after, we primarily use the Anabec cleaner in our crawl space encapsulation projects when we have to deal with mold. Now the Anisphere is a ratio, so we're gonna put about two ounces of Anisphere in the fogger and then fill up the rest with water. But the cleaner itself, you don't have to dilute it, it's just ready, it's ready to go. So you would pour it directly into the fogger. Okay, so when you get done using either product, you wanna make sure that you clean out the fogger really good and rinse it out and I'll show you all that. But a couple things that you're also gonna need in order to do this is number one, you're gonna need an extension cord, okay? So make sure you've got yourself a pretty long extension cord depending on the job that you're gonna be doing. The other thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need a mask. Now this is uh, the 3M uh, half face respirator mask. And of course, you're also going to need the P100 particle filters, uh, these little pink pancake guys that go on the mask. And since we are dealing with a liquid, it's a good idea to have some splash goggles as well as some gloves. Okay. And last but not least, the Tyvek. All right, so I'm gonna dress up in this dude and walk around here like the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man here in a minute. But uh, if you didn't wanna go with these pieces, these individual pieces, you could always get the full face 3M mask that covers the entire face. It's got the shield on it. Uh, and it's also comes this uh, unit that we've got online and I'm gonna put a link down to it below. Everything that I'm showing you is down below except for the extension cord. Um, but this uh, comes with two of the P100 pancake uh, uh, filters. So you don't need to add any filters whenever you purchase this product. But this is what I'm gonna be using today. Uh, I like a full face better because uh, I just do. So anyway, I'm Michael Church and uh, let's get to it. Okay, what in the world did they do to this thing? You loosen it up. Don't put the suit on. Okay, so I'm all done uh, in the nursery. It literally took six, seven minutes to fog a nursery. I mean, it doesn't take very long. But uh, a couple of tips about when you're fogging. Number one is if you've got uh, items like this that babies and small children can put in their mouths, it'd be a good idea to rinse these off with uh, water. Um, you know, people spray these things with Lysol and leave Lysol all over them, but 
uh, you shouldn't do that either. Uh, but um, the other thing is, is if you've got a, a fire alarm system, uh, depending on how thick you fog, uh, it could recognize it as a fire. So you want to cover these guys up before you get started. That would be some of the prep that you would do before actually fogging. Just go all around smoke detectors inside your house. Same thing. You want to cover those up. And lastly, uh, it didn't take a whole lot of uh, liquid to fog that area. So you can just pour the unused uh, disinfectant in a couple of uh, squirt bottles and that way you can clean your toilets with it. You can throw it in the mop bucket, whatever it is you want to do so you're not going to waste it. So I am Michael Church with Crawl Space Ninja. Hope you make it a happy and blessed day and we'll see you later.